Good day folks, quick update on natural gas, rallying nicely up into resistance. We've got a break above this resistance block here, we're right into it at the moment, looking pretty good, 1.75, but we've got the 50, the 20 and the 200 period moving averages above us on this 4 hour chart. My target is $2 and then 215, 220 and then 235 to 240. So, so far, so good. Now, let's have a look at this on the day chart. It's always good to zoom out and look at the daily chart. And particularly if you're a scalper, a five minute, 15 minute chart trader or one hour chart trader, try and look at the day chart and the weekly chart, in fact, to get an overall perspective if you're trading shorter time frames. On this daily chart, we found support at the 78.6% Fibonacci. That's the area that we were targeting in the last video and it's bounced off from there beautifully. Now, on the day chart, we've got two more moving averages above us, particularly the 20 period. That's this green one, very important moving average, and the 50. So equally important, we've touched those, fell back a wee bit, we've got to drive up through there and above this high at 1.8. There's the $2 level just up there. And then 215, 220 at the bottom of this gap and then 235 to 240 at the top. I put up a tweet yesterday on natural gas on the storage report coming out in a few hours time. If you'd like to follow me on X, it's at ArcusFX. The comment I made was storage tomorrow expected at 54 billion approaching peak seasonal level. And that's related to energy and electricity and that sort of thing, heating and cooling. There's also the underlying industrial demand and electricity demand, which creates the bigger waves, but these are the smaller waves within that. This red arrow indicates the expectation, which is 54 billion indicated up there. Now, whether it'll be 54 billion or not, I don't know. It might be lower, in which case that would be bullish for natural gas. But even if we are on target at 54 billion and maybe even slightly higher, that might be priced in already. And remember, we had a very big drawdown on one of the previous readings, so a bit of a snap back there, and that's not unusual. So everyone's looking at this 54 billion number and saying that's bearish for natural gas. I'm not too convinced about that. We're still below $2 and we're still cheap on natural gas, so let's see what happens in a few hours' time. So take care, and if you enjoy this sort of thing, a like and subscribe from you would really fire me up. Take care.